What's up, Call of Duty fans? Welcome back. We've got our Week 11 setup going for you guys as we head into our Cross Division. This is actually our third week of Cross Divisional play, where you'll see Division A teams playing up against Division B teams. That also means that we have 16 matches to go over throughout the entirety of the week, four per day. So the days will be starting uh, a little bit sooner. So make sure that if you're looking forward to getting involved on Monday, that you're ready to go because the games start at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Let's go ahead and take a look, though, just quickly at what the standings were like before we start really getting into week number 11. Starting with Division A, Optics still up front. They've actually technically qualified a top four spot with their current record. Just behind them, though, at 11 and 7 are both FaZe Clan and Gen G. And then at a little bit of a 9-9 tie, you're dealing with Reciprocity and Midnight. Again, top four placements are very, very crucial when it comes to CWL Miami and guaranteeing yourself in that playoff bracket. Below that, though, at 6 and 12, we'll be dealing with Evil Geniuses and UYU, and then not able to qualify based off their record in last place is the 5 and 13 Luminosity team. <laughs> Hard to remember back to when we had them on top of our power rankings at one point in time, and now they are dead last with no chance to qualify in Division A. That's wild. In Division B, though, E United is up top. Them and 100 Thieves have both also secured top four spots for Miami going through. Heretics just barely in 10 and 8 in the third spot, where Splice will be dealing at a 9 and 9, holding just narrowly on to the fourth spot because Elevate and Team Envy are just behind them at 7 and 11 each. Again, I still have them listed as Denial, but technically this is the Units team that's at 6 and 12, and then not in the running is Enigma 6 at 5 and 13 and your schedule there it is on the right hand side for you we'll take a more specific look for you guys though at what monday looks like and we'll break down each of those games the eight teams that we'll be dealing with though are going to be the four teams from division a that's going to be uyu luminosity phase clan and uh, evil geniuses and then the four teams from division b this week will be uh, Units or Denial, Enigma 6, Splice, and 100 Thieves. Those are the only teams that we'll be seeing throughout this week. The other half of the bracket, or pardon me, the other half of the league, will be playing in week number 12 to finish off our regular season. So for Monday, let's go ahead and switch over and look at more of this specifically, as we'll be dealing with both UIU and Units to start, Luminosity versus Enigma 6, FaZe Clan versus New Splice, and then Evil Geniuses, taking on 100 Thieves. Now, I've got all of these stats here for the head-to-head -head matchup. You need to remember that we are still dealing with new rosters for just about everybody. And in the comments, I want to know what you guys think. On this upcoming screen where you have your head-to-head, -head, would you rather see the stats individually for these specific rosters? Because right now, all of my stats are just cumulative for the individual teams throughout the entire year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And also, let me know if this screen even reads well. I know a lot of you guys watch on mobile. If you are a, uh, a mobile user, let me know if you do not like this screen. I'll ask again tomorrow when the scores are actually up because I don't know how easy or hard it is to read these things as you guys go. Let's go ahead and break down UIU versus Units, though. The first matchup that we will have and this is a matchup we've only seen once before, technically, between these two organizations, or at least the two cores of these rosters. And it did go in uh, units' favor the first time around. Technically, they were denial back then, and that was a long time ago. That happened all the way back in the Fort Worth pool. So this is only the second time we'll see these two teams play. Really, honestly, it's just a battle of who's going to be less worse, I think, is what it comes down to. Who's going to be not as bad as the other team? This new UIU roster, a lot of you guys are starting to get on me as far as being a little bit too harsh, but I stand by what I say that I don't think this roster is anywhere near as good as the previous roster that was there before. You take a look at it, just simply speaking, in case you are just not really remembering what it is. It's Methods, Blast, Classic, Phantoms, and Saints. Spoof is technically on the roster as a substitute, and the be going up against the new units roster which will still consist of rated and joe but nolson has come over from splice and you're dealing with wee man and cammy coming from team war personally in this head-to-head -head, it's really going to come down to who can find the synergy and search and destroy first uiu traditionally in the past had been a very decent and actually a pretty successful control team while being really not so great at hard point and just kind of mediocre in search and destroy whereas this units team had kind of been the opposite. A little bit more strong in the hard point and the search, but not really all that great in the control. And honestly, it just comes down to synergistic things, I think, simply between these two teams. So as you take a look at this one, it's going to come down to who can find their mojo first. Personally, 
Well, I'll just go ahead and say it now. I think units will be able to take this one. We'll talk more about that in our betting predictions later on. Looking at Luminosity going up against Enigma 6 in the second set of the day. Again, remember, four sets. So you got to be make sure, make sure you're up and ready to go for CWL at an earlier hour. Luminosity, Enigma 6, though. Again, Luminosity dealing with, again, a different roster as they will be dealing with Brack and Skies in the mix. And then uh, Enigma 6 will be using Breezy and Mayhem. So there are two different players for each of these rosters coming through. Personally, though, you take a look at this one. This one's going to be really difficult to predict because Luminosity, all the way through their division, will play from before in Division A, looked atrocious. They were only able to win a single Search and Destroy, and they didn't win a single hard point in that time. Now, at Anaheim, a touch better. They were able to win three of the seven that they played in hard point. They were even three and three in the Search and Destroy, but their control looked a lot weaker. Now, you have to wonder what exactly it's going to look like because, again, Ricky was the player who was subbing in, essentially, for Gunless as he was dropped away. So now that he's back in the coaching role, will we see Luminosity kind of get a little bit more stalwart when it comes to how they play the game as a whole across every single mode? Enigma 6... A lot of people, I think, are still kind of sleeping on this team a touch. Just because, yeah, you do lose two players that, honestly, I'm sure a lot of people are a little bit confused about the moves. But you pick up two solid players that have been playing well recently. Well, I guess more so for Breezy. Mayhem had a much stronger start to the season and kind of fell off a little bit. But you wonder what's going to happen with these two players when they're thrown into the mix of a team that's kind of riding a high after their top six finish at Anaheim. This is a team that won 6-3 at Anaheim in the hard point, an even 4-4 four four in search, and they actually got a lot better in the control where they were 4-2. The last time they put up numbers like that were back when they were playing at Fort Worth. This team was 5-1 at control back then. Now, of course, that was a long time ago, so a lot of things naturally have changed. So for this one, honestly expect this one to go the distance. We'll talk about who we think we have winning in just a bit. FaZe Clan and Splice for the next one. Goodness, this should be a fun one to watch. Obviously, FaZe Clan coming off of a a lot of success off of their essentially their run at Anaheim it was cut a little bit shorter than I think they would have liked but splice a lot to look forward to as well now that you're gonna be dealing with Huke in the lineup so expectations are high for splice they're gonna get a tall test right at the beginning of the week for phase they are 11 and 2 and the hard point at Anaheim that mixed up with them only losing two hard points during their time in their divisional split has resulted in a searing hard point from FaZe Clan. They also were flawless during the divisional in control. They were mashing that up at Anaheim with a 4-4. Four in four. Their weak point has been Search and Destroy, who you're bringing in Huke for Splice. That's been one of his, well, at least what you would anticipate would be one of his strongest modes. But for Splice, you're dealing with a lot of uh, ground to make up here. They have been good in Search and Destroy. They, this team, the core four, were 5-3 at Anaheim, which is respectably good. They were 2-8, and eight, though, at hard point, and 1-5 in, in control. That is a lot of ground to make up, and against a very good respawn team in phase, it kind of feels a little bit unfortunate that Splice will be going up against them with very minimal, if any, practice whatsoever. To finish off the day, though, it will be Evil Geniuses going up against 100 Thieves, and 100 Thieves, you can't, there's really nothing you can say that's negative about them. You're going through what they did at London where they won. They were 3-5 and five at Search and Destroy during that LAN. You follow up at Anaheim and you go 6-1 in, in Search and Destroy with an average of 5.86 for them and only giving up 3.43 rounds. One of the best that we've seen in this entire league on LAN. That's insane. They were also still 5-2 and two on Control and 10-1 and one on hard point this team has only lost five hard points since the beginning of london and if you go even further back before that they've only lost 12 in total most of those coming near the beginning portion of the year insane uh evil geniuses good luck you did find yourself uh well some kind of a work because honestly they were able to do okay in the search and destroy. They were able to go three and two in the search and destroy, and two and two in the control, but they definitely suffered more in the hard point. This matchup, honestly, 
is not going to look very favorable, I think, for evil geniuses. So let's go ahead and switch things over to our bookie's worst nightmare and give you guys my match predictions and also kind of breaking down the betting lines for you. I'll also be looking at my own personal scorecard as well throughout this week now that I have more of a referenceable uh, website that I can go off of and find lines every single time. And again, if you are out there betting, we do in my Discord talk very extensively about bets and who we like, who we don't like. So if you're interested in the description below, there should be a link to my Discord. Feel free to join in, in the conversation if you so choose to. Let's take a look, though, as we'll deal with units and UYU first. And technically, this is an even line. What I've seen so far at best odds for each of these teams is minus 120 for each of these teams to win, which is essentially that this is a dead even match. However, if you're looking for spread bets, there are a couple of websites out there that are giving um, units uh, the favor here. They will be the ones that are technically the favorites here, if not just barely. They're minus 1.5, or rather for them to win 3-1 or 3-0 is going at plus 175, while for UIU to cover at least two maps is going at minus 250. So technically, units is the favored team here if you're finding it. Again, these are the best odds that I could find uh, on the web right now. You look at their last 10. I will, for this screen in specific, go back and do current roster and what their hard points and searches and control win losses are. So you have more of a head-to-head -head matchup here as far as what they look like from their new rosters for teams that did make changes. Again, there were 11 of them that made changes um, in this three-day grace period. So this one is going to be an interesting one, I think. Personally, I mean, again, you guys know what I think about this one. I've got this one going in favor of, of units just because I think UIU is just not a good team. And for all of you guys out there saying, well, like, units doesn't, has two players that never played in the CWL. Yeah, but they have experience playing with Nolson, and they have experience at least dealing with Bance and Joe. So personally, I think the synergy will favor that of our units team. I've got this one personally going 3-1 in favor of units. The only question mark I really have, I think, honestly comes down to the control, which, again, this UIU squad has been better at in the past. Again, new roster, but all the players that are on this new UIU squad have had some favor playing on control, so I think that they're going to find some success there. But personally, with the synergy that units currently have, just dealing with three, at least three players that have some extensive knowledge with each other, again, playing on Team Kairos at London together where they finished second, I think they'll be a better search and destroy team. Even if this one goes five, I still think I see units winning this one. I've got this one personally going 3-1, which means that, honestly, if you're looking to make some cash and you're feeling confident like I am, that plus 175 is an incredible line, and you should be looking at potentially uh, betting the spread there. I personally will be. Going down to Enigma 6 versus Luminosity. Honestly, a tough one to call. A big part of me wants to believe that Enigma 6 can win this one, but I think Luminosity is going to find some honeymoon period with Bracken Skies in the mix. And personally, you take a look at Bracken, who he's going to be playing up against. Again, him and Formal on Maddox's together will be going up against God RX and Mayhem. Uh, likely at least. And Mayhem, again, has been a little bit slow to start, and I think it's going to be a little bit slow with this team to start as well. And up front, Breezy, Kismet, they both have had hot and cold moments. Slack and John, same kind of storyline. But again, you're also taking a look at Skies versus General in the main AR spot. Personally, just the head-to-head -head matchups, I think I just slightly favor Luminosity, so my betting and predictions will also favor them. I've got this one going to map 5 favoring luminosity where the lines are technically favored for them as well i would not personally bet on anything in this one the lines are not good enough there is nothing favorable here for you to find the minus 125 for the favorites in lg and the minus 110 enigma 6 should tell you that the betters out there and the bookies out there think this match is going to be close as well and i think they're absolutely correct in that sentiment i do not see this one being a safe bet for the spread for luminosity even though that plus 175 looks tempting I would not be so sure about this because I could see Enigma 6 technically winning this match as well. So definitely a tough one to call. Illuminosity has a lot of improvement they have to make because they have not been very good over their last 10 matches. And Enigma 6 are reeling off of, again, a very big success at Anaheim. So again, a lot of things to consider there. And uh, it should be an interesting one. But personally, I think Luminosity is going to be fueling the flavor and the fire. And they're going to come out and take that one in five. Moving on to our second half of the day. Splice will be going up against FaZe. As you would anticipate, FaZe is the favorites here at minus 225 is the best that I could find. Minus 120 for them to find uh, the spread where they will either win 3-1 or 3-0. And then for Splice, plus 162 is the best that I could find for them as the underdogs. Minus 120 for them to cover at least two maps. Personally, 
as much as I want to think that Huke is going to make this splice team better, and I think he absolutely will, it's not going to make them better in time to take down FaZe Clan, specifically when you take a look at the respawns. They're 9-1 over the last 10, our FaZe Clan. 6-4 in the control. Both of those areas have been where splice have been bad, and I don't think just adding in Huke will immediately make you be able to contend with FaZe Clan at this level. Maybe in the future, but not off the rip. I've got this one going 3-1. I think Splice can win the Search and Destroy, but personally, I think this is a pretty easy bet for FaZe, and I'm going to list them as a potential parlay option for you. To finish off the day, 100 Thieves going up against Evil Geniuses. I talked briefly about this one, and 100 Thieves are the heavy favorites, as they should be. 9-1 in both Hardpoint and Search over their last 10. 8-2 in the Control. None of those betting lines are all that favorable. You take a look at Evil Geniuses, the heavy underdogs, plus 333. And if they can cover two maps, you'll find a plus 162 line. Again, I just don't see it happening. I've got this one going 3-0, favoring 100 Thieves. Another parlay bet to add on top of that with FaZe Clan. That's personally how I will be betting. And here's a take a look at what bets I'm going to be putting down as far as Monday goes. I'm going to try to find a place where I can bet the unit spread bet at minus 1.5 versus UYU, and then I'll be doing a parlay option of both FaZe Clan and 100 Thieves. Honestly, I would say do more of the parlay because those two are pretty safe. However, I would not feel super confident in the first half of the day because both those games, I think, could potentially go five or be upset the other way around. Yes, I, I threw a little bone out to UYU. I know you guys are getting on me about uh, how rough I've been on UYU, but we'll see what happens. I'll admit, I, I will be the first one to admit if I'm wrong, if UIU comes out and smokes units, again, those are the two, I think, worst teams in the CWL at the moment based on my power rankings. I'll be the first one to sit there and say that I was wrong. But until they prove me otherwise, I will hold to my opinions. Thanks for joining me, guys. It's been a pleasure. We will be doing recaps every single day after the games are done. So make sure you come back, hit the subscription button, and ring that notification bell to know when my videos do go live. Until the next one, though, hope you guys keep holding it down. Later, later. Bye-bye.